Welcome. The topic of this video is let's build an ISO. The ISO, one of the desktop we're going to choose is the newest one, the latest one, which is Xmonad. Xmonad is down here. The article is already read, ready. Uh, a nice little image here, and this could be your system. The thing is, you need to build it yourself. That's the idea of Arclinix B. This is the procedure and we're going to follow it. It's This is the only thing actually you need. You copy paste this, control C. And then you go to your uh, Arch Linux system, of course, or Arch Linux system. All the rest will not work. And then you go to your desktop, right mouse click, open terminal, and then move it over here. Control Shift V is our copy paste. This gets all the scripts you're, you're going to need. This can close. And then the website says, let's, let's look what the website says. Change the file packages x86-64. 64. 64 stands for 64 bits. If you want to. Run script 30. Okay. So you go and we'll have a look at all these numbers. And here is the packages file. So, for instance, let's look for the word Steam. If you want Steam to be installed on the ISO, the only thing you need to do is delete this, delete that. You have Steam on the ISO. So a hashtag in front of it is not installed. And if you get rid of the hashtag, it is installed. So change what you want. Um, but of course, don't delete any crucial packages, but you'll recognize the ones you want, I'm sure. So with that, that's done. Okay, then you go to the installation scripts, right mouse click, open terminal. Move that guy over here, and then you start running number 30. Type in the password of root, and then basically the only thing you need to do is wait. The end result is in ISO, depending on how much packages you put on there, the gigabytes will either increase or decrease. In this case, it really says, um, well, I've been building before, so he's deleting the previous build, so that's why it takes some time. So if you, if this is the first build, it go very fast. But if you have already a build, it needs to delete well lots of gigabytes. So that's why it takes a bit longer. But basically, when everything kicks in, the only thing you need to do is watch the magic, and that's it. And the end result is an ISO. Let's uh, pause the video here. Okay, after a while, do you see the result? You have a two gigabyte version here of Xmonad 19012. So 2019, January, second edition. It's moved to Linux B out. So you go and look if you have that folder. And in here, you'll see that I've created here now a new version. And that's how easy it is. Then it's up to you to load it up in a virtual box or to burn it on USB and install it on a laptop or a desktop. All right, enjoy.